Hey guys, um, Harris here for Dream Team Editing. I'm just gonna show you guys quickly a bit about most spleen, most blinds, and most mo uh, most blinds generally in Cinema 4D. Um, please, if you haven't already, go and sub to my account right here on Dream Team Harris HD. And I'm just gonna do a quick call out on behalf of Dream Team. Um, a lot of you say that we nick visuals, tutorials, and stuff. Well, no, we don't. We have a deal with visual. Uh, he's part of the staff, as it says right there. He knows. He he it was actually his idea. We he supplies tutorials to us. So just stop asking for the future. And a bad example of this would be in an intro I did a few days back when I first realised about most mean You can see this sort of coral effect. You sort of can see the source found outwards. You can see it moving about freely, which is just going to be an easy way to correct these most spleens, most blinds, without having to keyframe and change the angle and let it just go freely without having to keyframe. So you can see it quite clearly that it's not in HD, it's just on my channel. Um, it's just sort of squiggle effect, which you can get. And when I do watch your guys' stuff, you don't often use it. So let's just get started. Um, if you go to MoGraph and click Most Spleen, you do get this in the MoGraph plugins. There are two MoGraph 1, MoGraph 2 add on plugins for uh, Cinema 4D. Um, they are very cool. And if you go and watch our tutorial on how to get Cinema 4D, uh, these come included. So if you haven't already, go and watch that tutorial and you'll get these free. So once you've made this Most Spleen, you want to go to simple and you're going to change the segments from 1 to 20 or however many segments you want really, however many of those squiggly lines you want we're going to change this angle h to minus 90 and we're going to change angle p to 200 maybe well you can see you've got this sort of peacock effect which isn't really what I wanted, but oh well. let's make it a bit more and then add a curve to it. Alright, I'm going to rotate this around so that it's pointing upwards. And you can see the basic outcome of what you're aiming to achieve. You can it won't come up on the render because we haven't added a NURBS which we're gonna do last. But first of all we need to tell it to move freely so we're gonna add a wind or as it looks like a fan here. And we're going to rotate it so it's pointing up towards our little coral. Now we're gonna to affect the wind we need to give it some turbulence so it does actually turn. I'm going to turn the scale down from a thousand to a hundred. If you keep it at a thousand, it will go berserk. I think we'll say, I just want to add the length on this a bit more. And you can see, I think we've got this squiggly line which is going freely, which looks pretty wicked, to be honest. And now we're going to make the nerves, so we're going to add sweep nerves and a circle. We're going to drag the wind underneath the nerves and the circle in between them, so you have this layout. Oh shit, no. Detach the wind. There you go. You should have sweep nerves with the wind and inside the nerves should be the nerves up top and then circle then the most sweep. So right now you should be able to see it when you render. If all goes well, yeah. And now you can add some textures if you like. Let's see, a gradient. We try and make a underwater sea like effect. Like that. You could load a texture from Google Images, I guess, or just the ocean or whatever you think. You can mess around with it. You can mess around with the sweep nerves. That's how the now the caps to each side to make it give it a head, which is pretty weird. Because that makes it look like it got jellyfish or something. And then I don't like that, let me get rid of that. In fact, I'll keep it there. 
button, button. Or you can switch it upside down so you've got this lengthy pyramids like effect. And now that's basically it. I'm going to show you a quick tip on spleens itself. Not so much most spleens, but this freehand tool right here. As it stands, if you go to edit preferences, document, you're going to have multi draw spleens unticked at the moment. So, what you have to do, say you want to draw. You'd have to click again, draw, click again, draw. You'd have to repeatedly do that. I'm just going to delete these. Uh, but if you go to edit, preferences, multi-draw spleens, you can freely draw with your hand, etc. And I always had the idea of maybe linking this freehand tool. So maybe write my name. Linking that with the fan and all that and making that squiggle go up and etc. So I hope you guys uh, like the tutorial. Um, I would advise you do that tip even if you don't use the spleens just in case for future future purpose. Um, if you can go and sub to my account iHarrisFX. I've only got 204 subscribers. It's in the Dream Team Editing sub box right here. Um, again we do have a deal with visual. I'll speak to you guys later.